Google Cloud's recent announcements of collaborations with Ericsson for 5G Core as a service and Nokia for autonomous networking are a double-edged sword for carriers. Your arm's off! No, it isn't. On the one hand, they provide a way for telcos to quickly roll out new services, diversify revenue, and expand their reach via one of the largest cloud networks in the world. On the other hand, they involve tying their networks and their destiny to internet search company Google. There are business, technology, and ethical reasons why that's a risky idea for both carriers and their customers. Cloud services from companies like Google and AWS are to telecom what crypto exchanges are to FDIC insured banks. They're a bit more loosey-goosey, they're substantially less reliable, and of course they have the potential to disappear completely when you least expect it. Forget about five nines of reliability, think four nines, best case, or three. Or, when hyperscalers really get it wrong, no nines at all. And welcome to a world where the price you think you'll pay is never, ever the price you'll actually end up paying. Where your proprietary data could magically, a voila, become Google's data. And sovereign cloud compliance might be decided by an automated BGP or OSPF routing coin toss. And this is not a reversible commitment. Carriers that do embed a 5G core or autonomous network within the Google Cloud are voluntarily committing themselves to the same single supplier hazards that IBM's customers endured in the 1970s and 80s, though with a company with significantly less integrity than Big Blue. Cloud technology may be open source, but Google and all the other hyperscalers embellish their services with so many proprietary bells and whistles that the net effect is a lock-in. Google's ability to deliver on its telecom promises is somewhat undermined by its history of making nonsensical claims about using AI to cure cancer. The end of disease? I think that's within reach, maybe within the next decade or so or having the world's first level five autonomous network by Christmas, and then refusing to answer any questions about them from the last dispirited remnants of the trade journalist cadre. But also because both Google and AWS have clearly struggled with delivering telco grade services in the past. Amazon recently retired its private 5G offering and Google Fiber ended up being a shadow of what was initially promised. In both cases, the hyperscalers found, surprise, uh, that this telco thing is actually a lot harder than it looked from a throne built on entitlement, hubris, and the unquestioning toadying support of 99% of the fourth estate. To Google or not to Google? That is the question for carriers. Choose wisely. Your decision is going to have a very long half-life.